At the time of this recording, yesterday, Yen Press said that they had 15 new announcements that they were going to make over at Anime Expo. Now, the manga community has been blessed recently with a lot of announcements coming on Twitter, especially weekly when you talk about organizations and publishing companies like Seven Seas. I mean, we know that Anime Expo is a huge deal and there's so many people. I mean, look at these images and videos of how absolutely packed it is right now at Anime Expo. So when people saw 15 announcements, that's a huge freaking deal. And just now, Yen Press announced all 15 of their titles. I kid you not, this lineup is so good. There are a ton of surprises in here. And there's a ton of stuff that a lot of people are happy about, especially shoujo fans. Coming on the first one now, Fruits Baskets Another, specifically volume four. This is the recent installment that was released over in February of this past year. The series was originally created to help sell the collector's edition releases of the main series, which you may have seen on my channel. I own some of those. Although it has some mixed reviews about the story and the plot line, it has tons and tons of praise for its artwork and character design, development, etc. It takes place decades after the original story and features new characters like the main character, Sawa Mitoma. This shoujo romance is a big reason and a big W, one of the big Ws in this list of titles that Yen Press is providing, especially with the Fruits Baskets prelude movie, Fruits Baskets fans are continuing to eat well. The next announcement is a brand new series being published. Apparently, Delusion Adventures will save the world, a new manga. Now, this is a seinen series, originally a light novel, that actually also got an anime announcement over in August. And it follows this trend of someone being a part of a party, but now not anymore. Our main character, Nick, is kicked out of his party by accusations of embezzlement and things like that. So he ends up forming this new party full of jaded adventurers and kindred spirits. They try to be the new unstoppable party. I don't know much about this fantasy action adventure personally, but it's currently an ongoing series that, I mean, also just got an anime adaptation, so it can't be that bad, right? It's gotta be some sort of popular and some sort of good. Another manga that I'm not super familiar with is Your Forma. Although I have not personally read this, I have heard some good, good things about this series. It also won the grand prize in the 27th Dengeki Novel Prize. It's kind of this action drama science fiction mystery type deal where this new technology called Your Forma has become a commonplace. Echika, an officer, has to use this technology to crack cases around the world where everything about you, like literally everything, your sights, your smells, your emotions even, like thoughts and things like that, are being recorded and can be used against you. This is originally a light novel series, and the cover illustrations of the light novels that Subata Nozaki has done is what has gotten me really interested maybe in this piece. Now, the manga artist is going to be Yoshinori Kisaragi, who hasn't really illustrated anything that I'm familiar with, actually, now that I think about it. I'm curious how this is gonna go. I'm really, really interested in this one. I love kind of mystery, sci-fi type of thrillers. I think I'm gonna get this one for sure. Now, we have Fuella Magi Oracle Magica Omnibus Volumes. Now, you may have heard of the Puella Magi series, and that's because there's a lot of them out there. This is specifically the second spin-off series in the Puella Magi franchise, and I believe there's only two volumes of this doing a little bit of research. Only seven chapters in total Total, and it takes place between the timelines of four and five of the Madoka Magica series. I've been told by a couple people that I need to get into the Madoka Magica series, and it's got kind of an interesting art style in my opinion, so maybe I do jump on it finally. Now, the thing that I'm most excited about personally is k -On, the complete omnibus collection, an anime that originally started airing in spring 2010. Now, when you think of fun, kind of slower musical anime, k -On 
is directly in people's mind as something that comes up. Its manga was originally published in 2007. So it's something that for someone such as myself who absolutely adores k -On, I literally can't find it anywhere. Like it's so, and if you can find it, it's super, super expensive. It's only four volumes, 57 chapters. So being able to rock on and snag the complete Omnibus collection is a huge boost for my bookshelf. It's a super fun story about a bunch of kids that just want to play music. It has a whole bunch of dopamine inserts. It's got a great slice of life aspect. And the memes are... Ugh, the memes are top tier in this series, but I cannot describe to you how excited I am to have this series, or I guess I should say will eventually have this series. It's a series that I love and a series that I think a lot of people are going to be really, really excited about. So I'm super ready for this to come out. Staying on the topic of K-On though, we have the spinoff series for the next title announcement, K-On Shuffle. Now K-On Shuffle is a Seinen spinoff series of the Everfluential K-On series that currently only has one volume out right now. It began being serialized in July 9th, 2018. And I guess since then, I mean, we haven't really heard anything about it. From what I gather in the synopsis, this is actually a story of a group of individuals who want to start their own club, specifically after seeing a certain band play at the Sakura High School Festival. I think I can guess who that is. Although there is no light music club, there is a light music appreciation society with a number their member in it and that's all i really know i also don't want to spoil it for me or anybody else you know but again i love chaos and i love spinoff series specifically ones like don machi that are pretty much canon but give additions to the story so i'm really excited about this one i i like this one a lot as well not as much as the original chaos but i do like this one I think it's cool. Now, the next announcement is a fan book, a memorial fan book of Konosuba, God's blessing on this wonderful world. Now, Konosuba is an ever popular light novel series that I would say is one of the more popular isekais that go into the fantasy comedy aspect. Kazuma Seto, hopefully I pronounced that right. I actually, I haven't seen this series before, so I'm looking up the premise real quick. He's reincarnated into a world of MMORPG elements. He chooses the god that isekai him into this world to accompany him. Turns out she's not that great. They recruit other members along the way, including ever popular Megumin, and they try to live a comfortable lifestyle. Again, I personally have not seen this series, but I've heard so much about it, including the Trash Taste special that they did, where they did a D&D session of like the Konosuba D&D specific like book thing. I don't really know what to call it. But I've only heard good things about this series, whether that's the anime, the light novels, whatever. And I know Konosuba merged and different branding and stuff and advertisements are literally everywhere. So I think people are going to be really excited about this. Now, the next announcement is the opportunistic princess has all the answers. This is the light novel series. Now, our main character, Maki Tazawa, is reincarnated into her favorite boy's love. And she's the princess in the series. It's actually kind of hard to find a lot of information on this. But apparently, some of the BL dudes in here are going to try to get her to loop into a political marriage to have a kid for him she doesn't want to do that she wants to have her own love so it's just like reverse harem but not wanting the harem I don't know. And it's got like kind of a so-so rating on my anime list. So now I kind of understand reading this review from someone on MAL about what it is. I won't spoil it for anybody, but let's just say as our main character tries to find love, she has a really hard time because they're kind of in love with other people, if you get what I mean, based on the story that she's isekai'd into. So interesting. I wonder if this lays more on the comedy, if anything. I kind of hope she never succeeds. That's just me. But kind of interesting. I mean, I may try to read like a chapter for free online or something like that before I get into this. Because I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of like the character is gay, so I'm going to make them straight. I don't really like that premise. Okay, but moving on, we have I'm Quitting Heroing, the manga. I'm pretty sure this has an anime like out right now, right? Yeah, this Seinen series just started going on this spring. I personally haven't seen it yet because I'm super far behind and I have a full time job, but this light novel series had a quick three volume run. It's a fantasy series where the world's strongest hero, Leo, defeats this demon queen Etch Echidna and her elite four probably did it in a Pokemon battle because, you know, elite four and then the demon 
person is the champion, right? Anyways, apparently our main character wants to help rebuild the army of the Demon Queen because everybody became afraid of him for defeating the Demon Queen. Wait, uh, what? So I guess the quitting is the hero coming back to help the bad guy to defeat the humans. Interesting. I think I'm gonna put this anime higher on my priority list and start watching it once I finish up what I'm doing right now. That's an interesting premise. This is the manga that is being announced, so there are other ways to consume this if you want to watch before you buy, which is exactly what I'm gonna be doing. So now we're gonna go into Pandora 7, another announcement series. Now, I don't know much about this one, but apparently it's about Rhea Frontier's wish to meet other humans, and it's granted by a search party looking for pandora's box they come in and just absolutely hurt her family or friends or some people she really likes having that happen to her she actually unseals terrible powers that change the world forever probably pandora's box because isn't Pandora's box have like seven things in it or whatever? It's a seinen drama fantasy type deal. A lot of seinen stuff I feel like we've talked about. And honestly, there's not too much on it. I mean, most of the stuff when you Google is like Pandora hearts, which I still need to go look at. And like Pandora's box. So I'm super curious about this. Seems kind of like revenge kind of like Ari Ferretta in a sense. Although Ari Ferretta doesn't really care about revenge too much. I mean, he'll kill anything that gets in his way but like he just wants to go home but either way i'm kind of interested in this series after reading that premise and i think i'm gonna jump into it and it's probably gonna be freaky the next title that was announced is called shy now this is about a girl in japan super shy super timid she's got special powers and she wants to be a hero that is if she can get over the self-deprecating thoughts that she has about her shortcomings i mean that's kind of all of us right now this is a shonen manga series that originally started printing in August of 2019. It currently has 14 volumes out right now and has been compared to other popular series like My Hero Academia. It's also been compared and viewed alongside sort of the dark parts of like Sailor Moon. It was nominated in the six next manga awards in the print manga category, so it's got a little bit to it that I think is worth noting. It's interesting. I think I'll pick it up. Now for this next title, it is called Even If This Love Dis disappears from the world tonight this is looking like something that's gonna make me cry just reading that title and looking at this cover like come on you you have to agree with me here so the description reads toru confesses. this is word for word toru confesses his love to maori who reveals that she has an illness which causes her to forget everything the next day toru set on building a relationship with her one day at a time <laughs> This is literally gonna be like, I wanna eat your pancreas. I'm just gonna have a terrible time with this. Like, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be phenomenal. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just gonna hurt so bad. It's apparently got a live action drama film that's coming out on July 29th. Like, man, this is gonna, this is gonna hurt me, isn't it? Like, this is gonna hurt me. Now, this is specifically a novel. About 300 pages is what I've been seeing online at least in the Japanese version. So hopefully we get something like an anime movie adaptation from like Makoto Shinkai, because that would be fantastic. I'm already at the ready for this movie announcement. So like, where is it? Let me cry on a Friday night. Now, shoujo fans, at least from what I've seen on like Twitter, Instagram and stuff in the last couple months, so many people are enraged about the amount of shonen versus shoujo announcements as of late. But the next title that in my opinion has created the most amount of hype hype and noise honey lemon soda now honey lemon soda is a manga series a shoujo series that started out in december of 2015 and is still ongoing to this day it got a live action film that was adapted about this time last year and it's currently at 19 manga volumes last year was nominated at the 45th kodansha manga awards in the shoujo category and it's ranked 40th in the da vinci's magazine's book of the year list for that year in 2021. I personally have not read it, have not watched it, but I've seen so many people say that this is one of the best shoujo series of all time, especially modern shoujo series. 
like that's still printing. It's about a middle schooler, Uka Ishimori, that is left with nothing but scars. She has this chance encounter with a boy of lemon yellow hair and gives her a lot of hope that maybe life can be much sweeter if she reaches out for help. It sounds like a very cute and wonderful story. I actually am interested. I personally am one that is looking for more like shoujo, jose type stories. Because I don't know if you can see on my bookshelf, I have a lot of shonen sane and stuff. I think shonen and sane definitely dominate in terms of amount of series there are, especially in the last like five to ten years. So I want to branch out and try more things and this looks like a perfect place to go. I know just like two weeks ago, I saw a lot of people just hoping and hoping at Anime Expo that this would get announced and there's so many people that are so happy and I'm so happy for all of them. Like just think if one of the series that you absolutely adore finally got an adaptation or something that you could physically get on your bookshelves that you could actually read like that is so cool in my opinion. Shoujo fans won today I'm telling you. The next announcement is one for all pet lovers Doomsday with my dog. This manga series is about Haru's the last woman on earth but she She's not alone. She's got her dog, also named Haru, who gladly lends wisdom. The end of the world might not be so bad after all with it. I don't think the girl's name is Haru, by the way, after rereading that sentence. The character's name is Master. Is this from the view of the dog? It might be. Another Sane in series. Wow, okay. So this has three volumes currently out right now and also is scheduled for a quarter three 2022 net adaptation. Wait, that's like now, right? Oh, it was announced on June 7th. An ONA was announced. It's going to be released on YouTube in quarter three of 2022. Sentai Filmworks has licensed the series. I don't know when exactly that is, but I wonder if this is like a comedy. I don't know. I like dogs. Well, how bad could it be, right? Now, the last title in this video, I think, is last because it is the most popular out of all of them. A series that has utterly dominated Japan, Oshinoko. Now, I've been aware of this one for a while, and I've had it on my read list for a bit because I, I knew it was eventually going to come to the U.S. Now, this is about a giant, giant, gynecologist. Probably know what that is. His favorite star, I is taking a hiatus. Now, turns out this hiatus is because he's going to be reincarnated as her child. Whoa, really weird. I've heard so many good things about this series, and I've heard such wonderful, wonderful things, especially because this talks about the idol industry. Now, the idol industry on the outside is very butterflies, flowers, happiness type of deal. But just like most things deep down on the inside, there's a lot of gross things that we don't know about. I think Odd Taxi hit it as well on the possibilities of things that can happen. But I've heard so many good things about this series and I've been super interested in it. And I'm glad that we're finally going to be able to get this. I'm still deciding if I want to read it now or if I want to wait until it actually fits physically comes out, but that, uh, that'll just have to wait. This series has also been rumored to get an anime adaptation, but most other popular series do. So take that with a grain of salt. And that's going to be all for this because that is all 15 of the end press announcements. I'm actually super excited about a lot of these and this 15 announcements kind of blew me out of the water with the amount of good ones as well. Like, yeah, every announcement really just has their like, oh yeah, this is okay, or oh, I've, I've heard okay things about this, or it seems like it's filler. But there's a lot of big stuff in here that people are really, really excited about. I mean, you got Kon, you got Oshinoko, you have Lemon Honey Soda, Honey Lemon Soda, and then also new ones that I'm pretty excited about that I don't really know about, like Shy and Even If This Love Disappears From The World Tonight. There's a lot of seinen in here though. A lot of seinen. I don't know exactly why. I think a lot of times Yen Press does a lot of seinen. I don't know. But anyways, I hope you're also excited about these announcements from Yen Press. Kodansha also did a series of announcements about new titles and such. And don't worry, I'll put a video out on those too. Make sure to subscribe for more. Again, thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos over here. My videos are really weird all over the place right now because, you know, things are getting announced and things are popping up. But... You should probably click on one of them.